Let's take a look at some of the other election stories today. The Conservatives want children in England who get poor results in reading and maths at the end of primary school to face an extra test. The new test would be set nationally but be marked by teachers, with the results published as part of school league tables. David Cameron is promising parents more rigour in schools. The UKIP leader Nigel Farage is taking his campaign on a tour of Lincolnshire today, a county that contains several target seats for his party. Well, our correspondent Danny Savage is in Grimsby for us now. Danny. Yes, Mr Farage was due at this pub in Grimsby a little while ago. He hasn't turned up yet, but the landlord's a UKIP supporter and he's just thrown out a load of people who are definitely not UKIP supporters, but Mr Farage isn't here yet. This is a seat that he is hoping to prize away from Labour and he's been on the campaign trail around the area this morning and as is so often with Mr Farage and UKIP, there were moments of controversy and moments of comedy. How are you? Last week he said people wouldn't pay much attention to the election until after Easter. So this week he's trying to up his profile on tour, visiting those bits of Britain where he thinks UKIP has got a chance of landing an MP. But after being confronted recently by protesters in his local pub, there's an air of caution around Nigel Farage's appearances, surrounded by his own private security, escorted from one controlled event to another. This is hardly cultivating the man of the people image. Do people threaten you? Is that why you feel that you have to have these people around you all the time, the security? Do you feel that they're a direct there is a th th There is a very nasty, paid uh, element of people who are intent on violence, yes. Do you really feel that you have this image of the man of the people mm -hmm. that you get out there? And that, that, you know, we followed you around for the last few days. It just doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel as though you're getting in on a walkabout, perhaps in public, getting out to see the people. Well, if I go for a walkabout with all of you, like, how many public will I meet? I mean, this almost becomes a sort of self-fulfilling prophecy, doesn't it, really? So, so actually, the better way to do it is to turn up unannounced and meet people. The alternative is to do the public meetings, which I'm doing. I love your jacket. But no sooner have we talked and a whiff of the circus unfolded. A conversation about EU fishing quotas with the reality TV personality Joey Essex. Let's take our country back. Let's take our territorial waters back. Let's get our fishing industry back. Sick. That's, that's why Grimsby. The two shipmates then took off for a trip round the harbour on the mill pond calm water. But things didn't stay calm for long. Back in the town centre, feelings were running high ahead of a public meeting. How do you know I'm a racist? You care? Are you, are you support of you care? Yeah, yeah. So okay. how does that make me a racist? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A few local people looked on bemused about Mr Farage being in town. It's not what we want. It's not what an election's about. It's meant to be democratic, not fighting on a town hall. He says some silly things and does some silly things, seems to do, and then he comes out with some good things, you know, when he's talking. So it's half an hour for them at the moment with us. He was eventually ushered in through a side door, last minute changes to avoid trouble. And I think there might be some more last minute changes. Mr. Farage, due at this pub, he hasn't turned up yet, and may not do so potentially because of the protests going on here. He's going to be moving on to Boston and Skegness this afternoon. That's a seat he hopes to take from the Tories in this area that UKIP are really targeting the county of Lincolnshire.